What's up everybody in the vinyl community? Craig here with a vinyl update. Yeah, that's right, a vinyl update. I know everybody's been waiting for a vinyl update. I've had so many cassette updates lately. Jesus, you would think I'd stop buying vinyl. No, I have not. I've still been buying vinyl. Just not in the uh, piles of 80 that I do. More like 10 or 15 here or there. Um, I've got a stack from uh, the store that if you've been watching my cassette videos, you've seen I've had a lot of hard rock and metal stuff that I got recently. Uh, that was from a store I found uh, a few weeks ago. And man, one hell of a setup when it comes to electronics, cassettes, and uh, cassettes are slowly dwindling. I keep purchasing more from there. But um, vinyl, vinyl's their big one. Um, fairly priced on pretty much everything. There's a few things in there that I think he's asking for a little too much, but at the same time, they're gauged off of what's selling on eBay and, you know, what their value is. And he's not selling, you know, a lot of crap. You know, you're having to whiffle through a bunch of shit. So, lots of good stuff. And I'm going to have to go back again this weekend to buy more because I forgot there was about 20 more titles I wanted to get. So, anyway, um... I just want to say, um, sorry I haven't been shooting so many videos in the last, you know, I know I frequently posted a lot more uh, a few months back. Uh, it's kind of more difficult for me being away from uh, a good internet connection. Mine here sucks right now, so I'm changing providers. And uh, this camera I actually borrow, so um, I have to, you know, ask to use it then bring it back, and then upload my videos from the same place, so it just makes it a bit of a hassle. So, um, I will hopefully be acquiring my own here in the near future, and having a better, better internet connection will mean I can upload more videos, but um, I am now on the VC Facebook page, so I am going to start putting more posts on there and stuff, just posting up pictures and stuff, because I can do that, and uh, be communicating on there more, so uh, if you don't um, see much activity from me on YouTube, check over on Facebook and, you know, maybe we can connect up from there as well. So, just trying to find all my different outlets to be able to hook up with you guys. And I think that, uh, or you can, uh, you know, get my phone number too, like LJ does. <laughs> I love you, brother. But anyway, um, just like to have more open communication about music and stuff. I mean, me and this mass hole talk you know, every day, so, you know, I love you, brother, come on now, anyway, on to the vinyl, uh, background, if you haven't guessed it already, Asia, by Steely Dan, we don't have to talk about this album, we all know it's fucking awesome, this is my Canadian pressing that I got from Dr. Deadwax, thanks again, brother, so I've got a domestic copy and a Canadian press on vinyl, a copy on cassette, and a copy on CD. Nothing like having four different ways to hear this album. I prefer the vinyl. It's so good. But anyway, on to my stack of vinyl. Oh man, oh, so much to show. All right, finally, speaking of Steely Dan, finally closing out my Steely Dan collection on vinyl. Countdown to Ecstasy. This is a very, very good album. I listened to it last night. Ooh, ooh yeah. Oh yeah. My favorite still is Asia, but. You know, all Steely Dan's work is great. One of the spectrum to the other, Force It by UFO. Not my favorite studio album. Maybe it's just because I was spoiled by Hearing Strangers in the Night first. But that's got some great songs on it that if you really want to hear, just do yourself a favor. If you've not listened to UFO yet, listen to Strangers in the Night. And if you want to hear studio albums, I would definitely, I would suggest this. Um, I'd say maybe Lights Out and Obsession would be the uh, would be the two um, post uh, Michael Schenker I would say mechanics would be my favorite but that's uh, that's all subjective per personal opinion mechanics that's overall my even favorite UFO album studio wise which is kind of sad but you know it's still a great album anyway some scorps crazy world Oh yeah, I was so, so psyched about this from 1990. Very rare for me to find albums that were produced in the 90s, so 
very, very cool. And major, major upgrade copy of Yes Songs. It's in amazing, amazing shape. Comes with a booklet. I believe this is an 80s pressing, I think. Just kind of by looking at the label and stuff, but very clean. I mean, it's got a little bit of dust. I haven't went through and cleaned all these yet. A few marks here and there, but I mean, nothing that's going to take away from listening to it. And, oh man, mine is just thrashed. I mean, just to, just as for example, cover wise, let's do a little AB real quick. Here was my original copy. Thrashed. I think I bought this, I don't even remember, it was so long ago, a long, long time ago. And I don't even remember how much I paid for it. I think I probably paid way too much for it, and it was a little bit of a eh, neophyte when it comes to buying vinyl at the time. I think I just, the option of buying vinyl in a store around here five years ago was minimal. I mean, there was maybe only two places for me to really be able to find any vinyl. I mean, Goodwill has almost never turned up anything for me, so, when it comes to vinyl. So, you pretty much had to take what you were given, and that's it. I mean, the option of traveling out of town hadn't really occurred to me yet, and going to bigger cities like Chicago, or Indianapolis, even Kokomo, Fort Wayne, wherever. Um, so, kind of sucked, but there's many different options, and I like to travel a lot more now, so I don't settle for less than the best now, and this only cost me $5. $5! This thing is just so clean. I did listen to one of the albums, and it sounds so good. So, I do another yes. Still in the shrink, yesterday's, a compilation of stuff from, uh, their first couple of years, basically from the self-titled and Time on a Word era. Such a great album, and I totally forgot about this album completely when working on my Yes collection. So I think uh, for basic basics, um, without having to, I do need to get some replacement copies for a couple of my Yes albums, but minus, uh, I think, self-titled and Time on a Word, I have every Yes album. Studio and live. No, I take that back. Self-titled, time and a word, and uh, yes shows. That's the album. I do not have yes shows on vinyl. I have it on CD, but I do not have it on vinyl. Hopefully, purchasing on cassette this weekend. I know my store has it. So close, very, very close on the uh, yes vinyl. Another one I was sorely lacking. London Town by Wings. Oh man. This was actually still in the shrink as well, but I uh, I took it out. I mean, the shrink was tearing off anyways. Minus a couple cover creases and stuff like that, the vinyl is in perfect shape. Still comes with the original poster and everything. Oh, so, so good. Progressions of Power by Triumph. Great album. One for the Foreigner Collection, Records. Nice little compilation. Slowly dwindling down my ELO collection. On the third day, getting closer and closer to completing that discography. A couple by Billy Joel, The Bridge. Now this, Billy Joel's discography is really dwindling for me. I think I'm only missing Cold Spring Harbor. I think that's pretty much it on vinyl. Uh, I know my store has Stormfront, so I'm going to pick that up too. And I think they have Cold Spring Harbor too, so I'm going to pick both those up. And I think I'll be able to close out Billy Joel. And uh, I do not know how to pronounce this at all. Uh, I should say Kokuet, but I know that's completely wrong. So, live album from 87. Yep, that was correct. Good on my ears tonight. Nice and clean. Alright, next stack. If you watched my cassette video, you know I picked this up on cassette, which means I completed the trifecta in one day, because I bought this on cassette and on vinyl. Yes, I am that crazy to buy the album in more than one format from the same store at the same time. And not be asked questions either. A solid album. I'm waiting to find a really clean copy, and that's the cleanest copy I've ever seen. The copy I grew up with, I thrashed. I played it so much. And this album as well, too. Tyranny and Mutation by BOC. Very excited to have those. 
a recommendation from LJ, Marshall Tucker Band's self-titled album. Uh, if you're not familiar with this, it does have the song, Can't You See? I'm not that versed in uh, Marshall Tucker, but I will be after listening to this. One that I've been on the hunt for for a while, and the cover's not in the best of shape, um, just because of some ring wear and whatnot, but I've been really, really wanting this, and, you know, for the price I got it for, I couldn't could have passed it up. Don Juan's Reckless Daughter by Joni Mitchell. Another one I've been looking on the hunt for for so long. Yeah, it's got the texture cover. Oh, it feels so nice. Bob Marley and the Whalers, Exodus. I think I only paid eight bucks for this. And minus a little bit of ring wear. I mean, the vinyl is in a pristine shape. And do yourself a favor if you haven't. I know it got released today on DVD, the uh, Bob Marley documentary. I believe it's just called Marley. I know it was on VH1 Classic this past weekend. Killer, killer documentary. I got a chance to watch a bit of it. And, ooh, yeah. Very, very good. I'm actually going to go out and buy the DVD. So, very excited about that. Cheech and Chong's Greatest Hit. Another one for the Cheech and Chong collection. Oh, yeah. Piss Your Pants and Laughter. It's so good. A little rough, but had to get it. Plastic Letters by Blondie. I've never, ever seen this physically before, so I had to pick it up. Another one for the Blondie collection. I'm slowly closing out on Blondie. I think they need the self titled on vinyl, and that's about it. I got Ah, uh, a nice, nice copy of Crosby, Stills, and Nash. The album from 77, yes, yes. It's actually a RCA Music Service pressing. There. Sweet. Ah, uh, Nemesis by Axe. Bought this purely just for the song Heat in the Street. But I know this album's killer, so... Gave me the oddest look when I bought it, too. They're like, you know Axe? Yeah, I know Axe. The edited cover of Country Life by Roxy Music. Now, I didn't buy it just for the cover. I really don't care about that part. I care about what's inside. And, oh my god, what's inside is amazing. Love Roxy Music, so I was very, very excited to pick this one up. Some 80s ELO time. If you remember those car commercials, that, or I think it was just one that had it, but uh, had to hold on tight. Pretty sure that was a car commercial. That was actually my introduction. I didn't even know that album existed until I heard that song that I backtracked. Uh, ELO's first album, which blew my mind completely and totally reaffirmed the Jeff Lynne is insanely influenced by the Beatles, particularly the Sgt. Pepper. This album is drenched in Sgt. Pepper. It's not even funny. Really good, though. I highly recommend it for anybody who's an ELO fan who hasn't heard this. Do yourself a favor. Either, you know, how, whatever way you need to hear this, hear it. Just check out the videos on YouTube. I'm sure somebody's uploaded some of the music from it. A completely underrated 80s classic, Phantoms by The Fix. I love this album, my dad loves this album, we don't debate it, we sing its praises and say, why has this made it onto 80s lists? This album is fucking amazing, I'm so glad to finally have it on vinyl. And one I've been waiting to find on vinyl for so long, and completing another trifecta for me, Hellbent for Leather by Judas Priest. Oh my god, this kicks so much ass, I love this album. I've been in love with this album since I was in fifth grade. I mean, come on. Delivering the Goods, Rock Forever, Hellbent for Leather, Killing Machine, The Green Man Alishi. Dude, if you are a rock fan, a metal fan, a whatever fan, and you have not heard this album, what the fuck is your problem? Listen to this now. Now, I'm. God, there's one demand I have out of life, is that more people hear this. So fucking good. Ah. All right. On that note, I am ending my final update. So thank you all for watching. Uh, please leave any comments, likes, dislikes, do whatever the hell you want to do. I, I welcome anything. 
And if you're uh, new to the channel, please subscribe. I'll try to get back to subscribing to yours, whatever. Thank you to all my new subscribers. Thank you guys so, so much. The only reason I do this is because more and more people keep subscribing, so I feel the obligation to keep posting. You guys make me feel very welcome, very loved, and I really, really appreciate it. And thank you to each and every one of you again. So, on that note, I'm going to get on to filing all this stuff away. So, hope everybody is doing well and has a great night. I'll see you guys soon. Peace.